All right, Jay, so um, WBO President uh, Paco Varacel, I hope I'm saying that right. I'm, mm -hmm. If not, I'm sorry, sir. Uh, he comes out on an interview with the Boxing Voice. Shouts out to him. He comes out and he says uh, that Virgil Ortiz turned down a mandatory fight with Terrence Crawford twice. Mm -hmm. Oscar De La Hoya and Ortiz's manager, Rick Merigian, said mm. that they were never offered a Terrence Crawford fight. Mm. Is this a, just a case that he said, she said? It could be. Because, well, as of right now, it is because we don't really know. Um, and if they did say no, I understand that because this is what people don't get. You got guys who are young samurais and you got masters. I mean, you got motherfucking senseis. Crawford go in that, he go in that basket with the senseis and the masters. Mm. He'll hurt you. The, 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 the young samurais is, is guys like Virgil, Boops, I mean, them guys. Sometimes you don't want to put the samurai in there with the master too early. Mm. He could hurt the master, but can he finish it? You know what I mean? So we not going, if they did say no, it's because no, it ain't time. But it'd be a day where Crawford's showing that he's slowing down, and it's like, all right, it's time. And I mean, now, why people still going to tune in? Why people still going to tune in is because the master's still respectable, and the samurai is now reaching that level. So, damn, it's still going to be a good fight. I, I, want, I want to see this fight. You know what I mean? Now, if it, if it didn't happen, it's because WBO probably making a move elsewhere. They probably ain't trying to let it be known. I mean, that, you know, they're not interested in the kid or whatever. I don't know what the case is. But if they said no to Crawford, that's not a bad thing. Because he is a young kid that need to work on a lot. You know what I mean? And it's not working a lot because he's not good enough. It's because he's still fighting off that young energy. Once he start to use his mind a lot more, which I believe the standing on his fight is going to let us know if he can box a little and fight a little, which I think he can. I've seen some sparring tapes where he was boxing and the kid looked good. So I think after a fight with like Stanley Onis, then it's like, all right, maybe Crawford now. You know what I mean? But don't, you don't want to put your guy in there too early because it because even if he beat Crawford, Crawford the type of fight that it takes some years off. It'll take some of the fights. You know what I mean? Take, like say if he wanted, oh, all right, at the end of my career, I want to have 50 fights. Crawford cut your shit down to 35 because he's going to take a lot out of you. You know what I mean? He's going to beat you up. You know what I mean? Win, lose, or draw. So... It's not a bad thing, but it's he say, she say, because we don't know. I mean, we really don't know what happened. They, they might have just put that out there, but we don't know why. Rick Merigian was saying, his uh, Virgil Ortiz manager, he was saying that why didn't they order the fight? Right. Mm -hmm. Like, at, at, at this point, I don't, you know, I'm, hey, it is what it is. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, at this point, it's like, Shit, he already booked in with standing on this anyway. So it's like, I didn't even, I, and to say that afterwards, it's like, I really don't mean nothing now because Crawford trying to figure out where he want to go next. Crawford still trying to figure out his next move. It's going to be a, uh, they said if he can't, if they don't sign a, a Spence deal, yeah. it's going to be Alexis Roop. Yeah, and I, and I, and I think that's Unless he moves Crawford. up and tries to get Charlo, but right now Charlo's hurt. So right. it makes no point. That's a, right. makes no point in doing that. And I think that's good for Crawford. I mean, I was real, because you're getting a young guy, hungry guy, who who can punch, and um, he got a little name, his name getting up there, and it's a make or break fight for Roka, but Crawford is a stay busy joint. I mean, Crawford, Crawford, if Crawford was the type of guy who was out here, you know, drinking, smoking, you know what I mean, can't control himself, then I'd be like, yeah, he got something to worry about, but Crawford the type of guy, he getting, he getting more and more dangerous, man. Getting more and more dangerous. So, we'll see.